Hi, my friends. Today we'll model this part, a twisted bracket, which has a mid section, which is uh, more interesting, and the rest is uh, not so uh, difficult. Such a part can be found commercially in the form of this. Yes, this is galvanized. Let's create such a part by using the drawing. New part sketch circle twenty. Home, circle, 10. And now, align. We are careful to make it in a single action. Trim, I keep pressed the mouse button and it's okay distance here is of course 10 finish sketch extrude this profile symmetrical on four millimeters then we use the same plane to create a sketch By using the distance 45 minus double 10. A line from this end to this end. We don't do head calculations, yes? Line from this very point, which is the projection of that line at a distance of 45 minus 2 of 10. Escape, finish sketch, another sketch which make a contour and this is possible because we use options sketch and auto project edges for sketch creation and edit okay now we use sweep on this line with this option yes not as usual we open this behavior yes and we place here an angle 35 okay you see this is the first stage of this uh, part then we create a plane perpendicular on this face and uh, containing the midline on this direction. This is not difficult. We select this. We draw that line. Finish sketch. And now plane. This face is the base. And this line with the angle of 90 about this axis relative to the selected plane, yes. Here in this uh, sloped plane, we create a sketch. We project firstly this line, because this one, even if it is here, it is not projected, yes. 
we want to see the sketch this is the sketch and now line from that the end of that line projected keeping press the left button of the mouse and with this distance of 10 another circle of 10 inside uh, this escape fully constrained finish sketch extrude this symmetrical and the value is here okay now we don't want to see these two entities and we change the angle at 90 degrees instead of 35 we write here 90 degrees and you see the result f6 this is the part yes let's apply a material must be galvanized however far more interesting is to create a film with the manufacturing the mid uh, twisted section of this part To do this, we save the part as a twisted bracket and then we create an assembly where we place this part P from Papa and to place it anywhere not important where is for instance this presentation not important then we go to environments inventor studio where in order to create an animation we activate animation timeline and now we have to find what to animate the answer is to create an animation favorite from here where all we have now is uh, the part this part which has no special parameter this is why we go back to the assembly and uh, we double click the part and we edit parameters with uh, special attention to the angle we create a new parameter twist angle which is measured in uh, angularity degrees with the value of 90 and here at uh, d7 we place that name twist in in a single word all of them angle when uh, inventor wants to uh, make a reference it use our parameter on this way 
Yes, this is the path of uh, thinking for uh, inventor in this case. Good. Done. Return from the path to the assembly and then go back to inventor studio where clicking again on the same uh, tool fx we find our special parameter which we uh, enable to be used in the animation now we can use the twist angle parameter in uh, our animation we select animate parameters to use that uh, new parameter and we have a specific dialog box you are advised to uh, take a look at my tutorial number 22 to remember this uh, dialog box and how to use it we start from 90 degrees which is this angle and we go to zero degrees yes then we specify a time for uh, the whole animation the time is five seconds enough for this okay now the time is at the end of the film and we can uh, make a back animation this is the back animation and we see how this part is made we go back we stop after five seconds of course 6.7 is but what is behind this here is the parameter and its limits of 0 0.5 seconds we can move the cursor anywhere and we see the situation there we can change the time which time or how long we want to be this movie yes we decided for five seconds and we leave this here and we go back to having the initial situation now we think to create the real movie to save on disk and to have it as a, a demonstration we use this button to obtain the dialog box for uh, selecting options for animation option is uh, width and height in pixels of the screen the output can be adjusted to have five seconds not 30 seconds which is the default value and to create a film with the reverse action from uh, flat to twisted not from twisted to flat for you I uh, create a preview but uh, if you want to have the film you have seen in the beginning of this uh, section uh, you have to choose more frame per seconds not 15 and to not uh, uh, enable this option I enable it and I leave this to have a small time 
of uh, working. If you uh, select what I said, uh, the time is over one hour. Render. What is the name of uh, the film? T. T is the name. You see, WMV is the extension of this film. Save. OK. And now are creating the 76 frames of this film. They were created. And now I want to show you this film. Uh, the film is on the disk. Close, double click on the file on the disk and we see a rough solution. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.